Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we got going with some of our satellite facilities, and we did have a look at a very quick oil uh, extractor over there, just so we can see what that looks like. Now, I've had plenty of feedback from you guys, and I'm going to say thank you very much. I do appreciate all the feedback. Do please keep that coming. Um, and the first one I'm going to have a look at is everyone was telling me to have a look at the storage facilities and place them on top of splitters uh, because then they can act a bit more like a buffer so I'm just going to try that here hopefully there's room okay so that will go on top okay oh okay so physic okay all right it's doing f okay not what I meant when that is not what I thought it was going to do when you guys were saying on top okay sure but that is actually acting like a storage on there okay that's cool that's good the other thing everyone was talking about is in the upgrades everyone's been talking about vertical building and I thought yeah see vertical construction here so I don't have this yet but can I do this without it is is going to be kind of the question uh Right, you're still doing cubes. What are you working on at the moment? Prototypes. So that's defences and ground squadrons. What I want are the... Transport drones. Now, where were they? I definitely saw... I saw them. Uh, logistics... Ah, oh, that's where I get the logistics drones. Okay. So I definitely need to be producing the red cubes, which we were starting to make some progress towards. So, uh, first things first, we are definitely going to need some of these matrix labs. And for that, we need iron. Okay, let's go grab some iron. Uh, where's our iron box? There it is. Right, okay. And then we need... I'm going to say... Sure, let's get four, because then we can up to three, um, we can have three blue and three red. Okay, so that's that going. Now, what did we actually need for the red cubes? That was the other thing. So it was, that was it. We needed the stuff that these guys are making. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you guys. And we needed the hydrogen... And the hydrogen was coming out of the oil. Yes, that was what we were looking at, wasn't it? Now, this base is becoming a hot mess. There's no two ways around that. And I'm kind of okay with that. Because what I want to be able to do... Is... You've unlocked prototype. This prototype is the origin of combat drones. It follows and assists Icarus in combat. Before dispatching combat drones... In the mecha panel, you can choose which type of combat drones to be deployed for each squadron and ensure there are sufficient combat drones in the hangar. Combat drones will automatically attack enemies by default. You can also dispatch them in the combat interface. Okay. So hang on. In the mecha panel... Oh, I get hangers there. Oh, fleets, units... Uh, attack drones. Okay. Oh, I need to make those. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I need to make a lot of prototypes. Fine. Okay. We can get on with that. Uh, however, I needed to get on with the oil refinery. There we go. Right. I need an oil refinery. I need... Stone and Plasma Excitus. Oh my days. Right, okay. Plasma Excitus. We're not making these. Those come from those glass sheets. Okay. We're really not making many of those. Okay. So let's... I kind of want to automate some of that. 
So let's head back over here. And just for now, let's put one of you down there. And can you make me these? Okay. And then... I was also being told I am way overusing these. I do not need to be making quite that many. Uh, right. Oh no. High purity silicon. That is the wrong one. I need the step before them? I think? Right, hang on. Is that right? No, there's the high purity silicon. Glass... Glass comes straight from rocks. Okay. In a smelter. Okay. Alright. So let's head back over here for these rocks. Because we're going to be using these stone reserves as well. Unless there's another set somewhere close. Copper, iron, copper, coal. Okay. So let's head back over here. And we're just going to need to turn some of these into... Uh, glass as well. Right, so I would like one of these. Materials. Okay, uh, buildings. Extractor, just the one, please. Right, okay. Oh, wow, that's a nice large hit. Yep, take them. Uh, right, you don't have power, because naturally, why would you have power? Right, okay, and then, if we need some smelters, aren't I? Uh, you're telling me I can only make the one. Fine. I need those. Okay, that's alright. So let's then get you here and put that there. And then you're going to go there. Okay. So that's then going to get me a chunk of stone. You're going to be making me these glass sheets, please. And you're also telling me you have no power. That's fine. And put you there like that. Okay. And then you need... No, not that. I thought I was in the logistics tab. So you're going to feed in like that. Now, is that one going to feed in enough? Yes, it will. And then... You're not going to reach that, are you? Yeah, too far. Okay. So then, for the purpose of this... I'm going to do that. And then, actually... I'm probably better off just putting a merger on there. Logistics, one of these. And then you're going in, you're going out, uh, and you are also going in. There we go, and then you can out. Okay. Cool. So that's now going to send glass up there as well. Excellent. Happy with that. That's fine, because then we can walk all of this back up here. And now... Oh, I took it down. Okay, fine. We'll put that back up. Right, you are then going to be making these... Uh, straight in there like that. So you know what you're trying to grab. So when the glass starts coming through, it should hopefully move it. Yep, there we go. 
good. Uh, and I mean, there, yeah, I don't have a lot of. I'm going to just ship them back. So that then you're storing the glass and. Yeah, cool. Okay. That works. Happy with that. Uh, okay, so then. What was it? We were looking at the oil refinery. Yes, we needed the plasma exciters, didn't we? Get your magnets and those glass things. Cool. So if we take those, we can then come in here and make the maximum we can of those. Okay. So the the ultimate plan that I'm trying to get to here is I want to get the transport drones because then I think this all gets torn down and I will effectively have dedicated bases building particular things and I will ship their requisite resources in and what they're producing out. That's that's kind of the plan for it. So yeah, that's what I want to get done there. You need a chunk of stone. Because you need that to be able to make the bricks. Right, where are we? That's what I want. Right, we can now produce that. That's fine. And you'll continue to do that while we're wandering around making this. Nice. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling more positive this week about it. I feel like I've got a direction. Like, this is one of the things. I was talking to one of my friends at work about Dyson Sphere, who is a lot further into this than I am. And what she was effectively telling me is that the biggest difference between this and Satisfactory is that everything is temporary. And it should be considered as such. Whereas in Satisfactory, you know what you're starting with. You know what you're trying to do with it. So you can plan for a fully functional, future-proofed factory. This facility produces various products. To filter its products, you need to configure sorter filter. When building a sorter, press tap or arrow keys for filter configuration. And effectively, I was told that is absolutely not the case with this. You you just need to be aware that everything is temporary. Everything is just there to get you to the next stage. Right, so you're now there. You're then going to go in. Right, okay, so you're definitely loading enough. Good. Then I'm going to need... Right, so I'm making refined oil and hydrogen. Are both of these just stored as liquids? They feel like they should be liquids. Fuel type chemical gas giant orbit. Oh, nice. We can just get hydrogen from a gas giant. Uh, okay, so where's my storage? I'm going to need more of these. Oh, no, wrong one. So I definitely feel like I'm going to need two of those. Uh, and. What I feel that we do when the first one's built is that we have hydrogen on this side so we can run it back up to the main base because we're going to need that for the red science cubes which means I'm going to be running this all the way around to the other side of the base there we go right put that there uh, I need a belt going in I need a picker there. And I need to tell you. Uh, no, not memo take item. Where's filter? That's the belt note. Sorter, that's what I want. Set filter to hydrogen, please. You're telling me that's full of hydrogen already? Uh, yeah, I don't want refined oil in there. Uh, 
Ah, but you're now full because you can't get rid of the refined oil. Fine. That makes sense. That's okay. Right, so then... Out this side... We have... The... Uh, set filter, you are the refined oil. Which means you're getting refined oil. Yeah, cool, that's out shipping that. That's out shipping hydrogen. Cool, okay, so we've now got hydrogen underway. Excellent. Which means now. Now, now, now. We come to... Where are we? These. Okay. Uh, oh, you're telling me I need 50 engines again. Uh, can I build said engines? I can. Right, so that's them done, and then I need a chunk of coal. Fine. That's fine, because I can just grab all of that out. And you'll find burning that. You're just going to grab a load more out. That's fine there. So I'll just grab some from there. Grab some from there. Right, cool. So that's now got enough of that. We're now producing as we're going. Do I have any plant matter? I do. Put that in to recharge me. Everyone was shouting at me to put coal in there, but coal is used for useful things, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so, we need to get that hydrogen up this way. This is where I'd rather have the drone set up, but I definitely need to get those Logistics Mark 2s in. So, take you down. And then, let's have a look. We want Cosmos. Foundation required. Now, with the foundations, I was told I need, like, a hundred of them. So, where are we? Items. There we go. I could produce 13. Insufficient materials. Because I need a ton of stone. Okay. All right, well, that feels doable. Okay. Well, the stone we've got back over here. So let's head back over this way. Oh, I know the battery's running out, but I'm going to stand by a charger as we go over here. There we go. Right. And then grab some of that stone. And it was... Yeah, floors, wasn't it? Ah, oh, but now I need the iron bars. Okay. That's fine. Let's grab you. Grab you. Grab you. Uh... Yeah, let's just pop a storage block on the top there, shall we? So let's go storage. Just give me the one for the moment. We've got a dark threat coming through soon, which, truth be told, I'm not too worried about. If they go after the oil, that might be a problem, because we haven't got any guns or bullets over there. So we might have to go stand over there for a little bit when they launch it. But I think other than that, we are okay. Right, so you're now making the foundations. That's fine. Like, I'm oddly curious. What does that one hydrogen do? Okay. Well, hydrogen lasts a little while. Replication complete. Okay. So you're going to go on there. Yeah, that means those belts are now just going to fill up with stone. That's fine. 
it means I can grab a good amount of stone from there should I ever need it in future. Okay. Let's have a look. So, coming back over here, I needed some of these. Right, okay, and then the floors. Right, let's get all of that built now then. Though again, that feels like something I should be automating. But this is where, like I say, I really want to get to logistics too. So if we come back over here, where it, oh, planetary logistics is there. So what do I need to get first? I need this and that requires magnetic levitation. Okay. So that requires this. So I've definitely got to queue that up. Then I've got to queue that up and then that requires thrusters. Okay, where's thrusters? Upgrade complete. Okay, hydrogen fuel rods feels useful to have. Ah, oh, there's thrusters. You're now able to fly. Press space twice to lift off. So that means and that, then and then the that. To move the mecha. In flight mode, mecha speed is boosted by 150%, and energy consumption is increased. Press Alt to land the mecha. Okay, so I'm just queuing all of this up because that is the objective. Right, okay. So, we need to get red cubes underway. So... That's... Mm, I don't have enough. Right, how did I shrink that? There we go. I've got 33. Aha! So that is it. Research I just didn't have enough. Okay. Build more matrix labs. Multiple matrix labs can contribute to the same research. Build more matrix labs and set them to research mode and ensure sufficient supply of matrices. Yes, 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 I know. It's because I need the red matrices and I need someone to put them down. So, now I can put you here. And then I'm going to need... Right, hang on. Why? Oh, because we're making this at the moment. Okay, because I'm making the stone bricks. Alright, I'm going to want to try and automate those. Oh, there's so many things I need to try and automate. Right. Okay. Right, so now you can go there. Cool. And then we can put the other one of these down. Right, you guys are making red bricks, which means you need the carbon and the hydrogen. Okay, so your, your logistics belts are going to go in this direction. So might as well get that output sorted. You're then going to output onto this belt. These belts are going to feed in. Right, okay. So now, now we need to get your output looped around here. Okay. So. Buh, 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 logistics, there we go. Run the new along there. And output. And then bring this all the way over. Replication complete. Okay, I'm just watching that threat meter at the moment. Okay, and you can go across like that. Love these drones, these build these drones are nice to have helping build everything. Right. We will need a power tower. 
because apparently this teeny tiny little square here is not covered, but that's fine. We can put that there. Okay. So when that's done, so now we need to get the hydrogen over here as well. well let's put the pickers in, shall we? So you're going in. And then, yeah, I've got to get the hydrogen over, which is all the way over here. And then, in theory, I've got to do something with the oil, or the refined oil. At the moment, I don't have another option for it. So what I'm tempted to do is to grab that refined oil, put it there. Oh, it goes in stacks of 20. I see. Well, I had not considered that. Right, put all of that back in there then. And then I've got to hoover that up. I mean, I can carry that oil for the moment and then use that to recharge me if I need to. That's fine. Can I put more than one? I can. Okay, well, we may as well just put all the ones that I can in there. Okay. And then you need to come on a very long journey. And then we can raise it. there and then we can drop back down and again run you that way there's a long old belt and then the pickers are going to go in but that should then have uh, okay because so the belt there isn't full I'm guessing I wasn't in range to actually build them. Cool, so that's now that straightened out. And then we've got to go back and finish this belt off over here. That's fine. Okay. Cool, so then, yeah, we've just got to get this followed through. Top up the oil. Everyone's been shouting at me about the power because I've not been not been keeping that up to date. But now we're going to have all of the red stuff underway. I feel happy with that because that makes me feel like we're going to be able to really get into the next tier. And it feels like in Satisfactory. It feels like once you've got oil going and you can automate some of the vehicles to transport stuff between factories... That's where it really feels like you can pick up and, and really start expanding out more. So that's that now. That's good. I do need something to do with this. So can we have a look in our production tree? No. Are you going to tell me anything about this here? So I can add... So I can make more refined by putting the hydrogen back in with a bit of coal. Okay. Okay. I'd rather know what I can do with that. Because at the moment, I don't know what I actually do with the crude oil, the refined oil, other than use it for fuel. Now, can we... Insufficient materials, insufficient materials naturally. Right, let's get a gun down here. And then we can try and run a belt from you don't have power okay and now I'm out of facilities right get me 10 more of those because I need them awesome that looks like we are now off and away and producing our first red cubes right 
So we'll put off power there. How is the grid looking? Good. We've still got spare. And then, yeah, you need bullets. So we're going to need to come over here and run the bullets over. So that's the copper, that's making the bullets. And then what I think I'm going to need to do, do I have the stuff on me to make a splitter? I do, that's good. Logistics, where are we? We'll put the splitter here. I mean, heck, we may as well get our uh, missing stone. Funny that, I can fix that now. Right, so you're going to go into there. You're going to rejoin that. Come over here to my stone box and borrow some of that. For a... Where are we? Storage box. There we go. Okay. And then... Put you on top there. Because then we can just store up bullets, which will be good. And now you're going to come around here. And I've got to do this bit at a time because I need to make sure I bring it all with me. We need to head over this way. Right, let's just make sure I bring those with me. Okay, so more of my drones will be better as well, because then I can build these faster. Right. There we go. So that's the end of that. So you're now going to apply that with the bullets. The only bit I'm worried about is if the Dark Fog take out the belt. Because the belt doesn't have coverage. Right, there we go. Let's put more oil in the tank. Okay, that's looking promising there. Cool. Take some more out because we're actually using that oil. The hydrogen is coming all the way up here. How are our production rates with that hydrogen? That's the bit I'm now thinking about. Like, are we producing enough to actually be okay? Good. We have red cubes. And you guys are working away. Nice. Okay, that feels like I could. Right. You're in the way, so we'll move you. And you're now telling me you don't have power. That's fine. Put you there. And that's fine. We've got stuff for that now. Uh, right, have we got... Right, I need foundations. I need more foundations. Insufficient right, let's materials. get as much as I can built up there. Oh, there you go, the bullets. I was going to say, where are they coming from? Oh, they're at the other one. Okay. Twelve units incoming. Building destroyed. Build it what? I don't like that. Building destroyed. I suppose that's right on the edge of his coverage, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we could do with another set of guns over here. Uh, 
should get me another one of those. Right, okay. Uh, cool. So we have red science under production. We need to expand that out. But other than that, we are looking all good. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They will help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and my YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. And please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games that I'm currently playing. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.